on Green's face. <laughs> Devin and Robin from Books by the Dozen and we are going to be doing our top five books of 2012. We're doing not 12, not 10, just because I didn't read that much. And also, that would be a really long video. Yeah. So yeah, we're talkable. just going to get straight to the point and do like five of our favorites. I don't even know if this is my top five books. I just really, really enjoyed these five. Yeah. And I didn't keep very good track of the books that I read in 2012. So, I'm going to do a better job this year, and then I can have a very defined list. Okay, and these are in no specific order. I'm just picking the ones that are in front of me. So, it's not like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 or anything. Um, the first one I have is Perks, the Perks, I almost said Perks of the Dozen. Wow. <laughs> the Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. And the first book that I have also is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um... I actually read this right after you, mm -hmm. um, and I loved it. Me too. I can't believe that I waited so long to read it. I think it was because a lot of people actually read this in school, and I was just so anti-school reading. I'm like, no, it can't be good if they're having them read it in school. But I was wrong. I don't know why I didn't read it. It was so good. So good. It's, that's why you're going to notice we have a theme for 2000. Yeah. Jan Thirteen. Thirteen. We have a theme specifically for January. Uh, it's books that we should have read in 2012. And I have a feeling that, you know... What were you going to say about that? Because you read this in 2012, no, so that's what This is partially... Books like this are the reason why we made this theme. Yeah. So we don't... I feel like I'm missing out. Like, the books that we're going to do uh, later... In our week of videos, our wrap up, and I feel like I missed out on a lot of good yeah. books that, that were out. Plus, I bought so many books last year. No, we don't need to step in a bookstore. For no, that, for a good that's six another months. thing that for the res resolution video that we did, I want to try not to buy as many books, which is hard to do, but so hard. I literally added two bookshelves worth worth. Oh my goodness gracious, two bookshelves worth of books. From July until December. It was bad. It was like, I mean, it's not bad, but it was bad for my bank account. No, moving on. <laughs> Focus. All right, and the second book I have here is, of course, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. It was the first book I read in 2012. Shoot. Sorry, I don't have room for that on my list, but I love that book, too. This is probably my number one, actually. I said no specific it's order. on everybody's But this list is probably my number one. Just because it's on everybody's list doesn't mean it shouldn't be on mine. It should be on mine, too. My top six books. Yeah. And mostly everyone's read it, so we don't have to tell you about it, except for that it is amazing. And if you haven't read it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And my number two, I guess, um, The Selection, The Elite, comes out on April 23rd. 23rd. Yes. It's a week and a day before my birthday. So, I put it in my last video, so oh, okay. I, I didn't. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited. I really liked the book. It, it was really fast. It, it was really, really quick read. And, you know, the world, I like that... America Singer. How America. did you forget that name? <laughs> you know, right? I love how America, um, she's definitely a girly girl, but she's so strong. I haven't read, read it yet. yet. I know. And, it, and it's like in subtle ways. People are like, no, she has breakdowns. So she, no, I think that everybody. I think that she's strong. I don't, and I, I like really, her already. I, and I love this color. It's uh, the girl with dress covers. I am usually opposed to, but Me too. this one, even the colors of it. Are who gorgeous. was it? Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. Tangent, tangent, but, um, tangent. No, tangent. I don't remember whose video it was. I don't remember, but they were doing book covers and they were saying how they. I think maybe it was Cash J Tuck. I don't remember, but they like book covers if they make sense, and so a lot of these. Girls and dresses on book makes no sense, but that works, is what she said, so that's why she liked it. I really wish I could remember whose video that was. And the next one is another book that everyone has read in 2012, it seems like, and that is Divergent by Veronica Roth. And my next book is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. They kind of go hand in hand, but yeah, I just picked up the first one because... And I really, one. really enjoyed the second book. There's a lot of people that did not like the second book, and I loved it. I liked it just as much as the first one. Yeah. So, I can't wait for the third one to come out in fall of this year. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So much waiting. But it's going to be worth it. It better be worth it. I hope it's worth it. It'll be worth it. Okay. 
Next. And the next one is actually a children's book, and I don't know why I love it so much. I just have this attachment to it, and that is A Mango Shaped Space by Wendy Mass. It's about a girl with synesthesia. Basically, she sees colors and shapes when she hears noises, and like numbers and letters have their own um, Colors. color. And so the mango shaped space, and mango is her cat because his wheezes send off like a mango color to her. And so it's about that her relationship with the cat and her struggles with starting middle school or eighth grade, excuse me, with her synesthesia and getting all over, getting over her hurdles. And I cried and I laughed and I love this book. Um, I actually don't have um, any of the books or. It's Simone Elkless. I mentioned her in all my videos, but I read probably, I think this year I read every book by her except for um, Leaving Paradise and Return to Paradise. I don't know what those are. They're books by Simone Elkless. Well, I got that much. Okay. I don't know much about them either, but those are the only two by her I haven't read. And I loved all of them. I was like, oh, I like the Perfect Chemistry series, and I'm like, oh, I like this series better. And then I read the third book of the Perfect Chemistry series and how they all tied together so well. And it's like... It's a Perfect Chemistry? Uh, I have don't, to pick don't make a, me choose. I have to pick a cover. I'll put all the covers. All the covers are going to be around us right now. Okay. Alright, and my last one for this year, or this last year, that's really weird to say, for this last year. It's so weird that it's over. I know. You guys, maybe it was because the world was supposed to end, but it's just 2013 is the weirdest year ever. Well, on my mind. Yep. Yeah. Alright, and the next one is The Girl in the Park by Maria Fredericks. I... Love this book, but I have a feeling if other people read it, they're not going to love it as much as me, and I don't know why. Sometimes you just bond with the book yeah. in a weird way. It's because this got me out of my reading slump in November, I want to say. Yeah, November. So it's like your friend. Yes. So I think like that's why. a hard time. Plus it was good because it's like a mystery, and I didn't know who did it. Which I think probably deep down I did, but I didn't want to believe they did it. I want to read it. Don't worry, I didn't give anything away. So that's my fifth one. And my fifth one is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Um, this book, I couldn't read anything else for like two or three days afterwards because I'm like, I just didn't know what to feel or what to think. And, you know, um, it's sometimes when I read certain books, I get like so like emotional and I get like involved in them. So mm -hmm. if something b bad is happening to a book, I'm like grumpy and grouchy for a couple <laughs> days until like there's resolution. And that's probably not a good thing. But um, I, I was in a, a stupor for days. Stupor. That's a great word. I was though. And it's, you know, and at the end she's dealing with this thing in her head and I was dealing with it. And I'm like, amazing writing. I don't, honestly, I don't know if this is based on a true story. I hope not. God, I hope not. But that's the mark of a good book. Right there, you guys. Yeah, so I, this is one of those books, it was just on one of the, those end tables at Barnes & Noble, and I'd been looking at it for a while, and I'm like, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, and then that night I just picked it up and read it, and I'm like, good. Yes. Okay. So read it if you haven't, if you're into those, you know, dealing with something really tough. If you're in the mood for a light read, stay away from that book, <laughs> because it, it'll, get, it'll get you. Great, and so that is our top five. Or those are our top five <laughs> grammar and there were so many other books that I really liked, but like I said, in the what is what was I saying? I'm so tired. <laughs> in the spirit of not making this video thirty minutes, those are just a few that we picked out for you guys. I know a lot of them are really popular titles, um, but check them out if you haven't read them, and let us know what your favorites were in the comments, or you know, or books that you think that we should read since we like these ones right here. Yeah, and have a good one. You too. You too. Wow. <laughs> I'm a waitress. I'm a waitress, and I am on a waitress autopilot every day of my life. <laughs> every, day. every day. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good one.